In this lesson, we'll review a math question from the problem solving section. We're on page 790, question 20, the final problem. We know this is a difficult question. We are given two functions, y equals f of x, and here is the graph, and y equals g of x, and here is the graph. And we're also told that f of x equals x cubed minus 4x. And then it states that g of x, remember g of x is the function on the right, equals f of x plus h, right? This is the graph on the left, f. But then we have inside the brackets x plus h plus k. We're told h and k are constants, and we want to find the product of h and k. So if you see this question, this is the shifting graph rule. Even though it's number 20, it is not inherently hard. A lot of students just don't remember this or haven't done this in school. It's considered algebra 2, but this is not a hard question. There's no reasoning. It's straight academic problem solving. So the best way, I'm just going to tell you how to solve this. This first function, the definition of f of x, x cubed minus 4x, is really superfluous. It is unnecessary. I'm just going to cross this out. You don't need this. What you really want to pay attention to is g of x, that's the graph on the right, equals f of x plus h plus k. We want to find the value of h and k and then the product. The shifting graph rule. So let me just go over this rule and then we'll do this problem. It's really pretty straightforward. If you have a, a graph function, y equals f of x, and then you're told or asked to find, this will be given, and then you're asked to find y equals f of x inside the brackets, let's say, plus 4. Just remember, if it's inside the brackets, this is a shift. It's the x-coordinate, that means left or right, and it's going to be opposite the sign. So inside the brackets, left or right, plus 4 is going to be to the left 4 on the same horizontal plane. But if it were y equals f of x, and then outside the brackets, let's say plus 5, that is up or down, and that is with the sign. That's all this question is. So let's go back to this problem. Here's y equals g of x. And we want to find f of x plus h. So inside the brackets, this is the f of x. And now this is y, y equals g of x. We want to see the shift. So the g is after the shift. This is the original one, the f on the left. So f of x plus h. We know that's the x coordinate. And it doesn't matter what point. So let's say we could pick this point right here. This is negative 1. You see this, this graph has shifted. It's gone on the same point over here to positive 2. That is 3 to the right. You could also pick this one from 1 to 4. In each case, it's the same. So it doesn't matter which one you pick. It is 3 to the right. It is the opposite sign. So 3 to the right, h is negative 3. And now we do this, the shift in y. So it doesn't matter. Let's start this point. 3, we've now shifted to 1. We went down 2. Or negative 3, negative 5. In both cases, down negative 2, that is the y, that is with the sign, that is negative 2. And so the answer here is simply negative 3 times negative 2. The answer is positive 6. That's it. So if you had a little trouble, if you don't remember this, it doesn't matter. You just have to remember the shifting graph rule inside the brackets left or right, opposite sign, outside the brackets, up or down, with it. So the answer, h times k is 6e. All right, see you next time. Thanks for watching.